Okay. <laughs> Gotta light up a room as much as possible before I dare explore it. Mama, please talk to Papa for me. Please. He has not replied to my letters. This is no place for me. The men are cruel and the land is cruel. I beg of you. I beg of him. I will do everything, anything to make amends. If you will not take pity, ask if he truly wants the family name to die out here in the dust. Matthew? Is that from one of the soldiers then? One of the French soldiers? but there's drawers here of some sort. Let me see if I can find some matches. Ah. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. What is that? I see something glowing. Ah! Dust and desert, arid plain, I dream of you, I call your name. A flower blooms, the petals fall. Sand glass empties, still I call. Ten years gone, my time is done. I journey home, my battle's won. There's no one waiting, no one there. Just echoes in an empty chair. That's depressing as hell. wind just blew them out? That second when your torch goes out and you're waiting for the match to light is just, it lasts for a million years. Oh, I love the sounds of all these things. Oh, look at these. That is gorgeous. So ornate. Sorry to try to break it, but does it break? It looks so special, I wondered if anything was in them. So gorgeous. The Hatif is a genie of calling, the voice alone in the desert, the cry of one bereft and in need of aid. Yet this voice is bodiless and unfleshed, spun of air and dreams. It assails the weary and the beleaguered, luring them from their path and into the wilderness. There they may search in vain, lost and thirsty until their bone and dust.
I mean, that's what's happening to us, right? That's what's luring us. It's the Hatif. The ghoul is a base genie, a thing of fear, of trickery and shadow, dwelling in the deep places of the world. When it scents human flesh, it digs through the sand to the world above to snare the unwary traveler. It's Trixie, speaking with the voice of men, leading its victims into the harsh places, there to slaughter, devour, and drink their blood. Oh, okay, I, I see what's going on. There isn't one thing, there's a bunch of things that all do different things, all of them bad. Great. <laughs> Digs through the sand to the world above. That would be all those holes we see all over the place that go deep into the earth. <sighs> and what's this one? Uh, I'm not sure that's pronounced. Like if it's D-J-I-N-N-I, -N -N -I, I think that's genie. But what if it's just D-J-I-N-N? -N? Gene? Jin? Uh, the Jin of the Inner Desert gathered by Luciano of Ravenna. The Ifrit is a genie of fire and flame, a vengeance called upon a murderer. Implacable? Placeable? Implacable? Unstoppable, the death of cities. It rises from desolation, from broken lands, and its sign is a shining light. <laughs> It scents the vitality of its victim and seizes them with its burning eye until all life is drained as a spider husks a fly. A dua almas Allah, a prayer of asking, and true penance is the only defense. Dua almas Allah. How do we do that. I think we need to do that. Is this another one? Yep. The Ashen Mother is a genie of healing, of succor in the wilderness. She is wild and capricious. She cannot be summoned. But if her sympathy is roused, she may choose to bestow her favor, giving of her body to quench the thirst of the dying and guiding those who wander in the soft places. Huh. Well, that's one of the good genies, I guess. detail we can hear a draft from the vent here oh i'm sorry to do this but there's probably a match somewhere in here
Jesus. Must be coming in through the vent? That sound? Please don't tell me I'm breaking these for nothing. I guess I broke them for nothing. This links up with where we've already been. Yes. Two matches. Ah, there's the thing. So that's the wench. Ugh. Oh my god, they shot somebody with it. They used it. He used it to kill one of the soldiers. Why? What was going on? Oh no! I just got an achievement for being a vandal. Look, I'm sorry, but I need matches. I see lights. If we just had electricity, we could turn them on. That'd be great. Oh, I've got one freaking match left. Mm, yes. was a thing running very across across the ground not human definitely not human we've already been here these just they went out Went into the hole. That's one of those digging things. Forgot the name of it. Let's just lock that. That sounds great. This room feels safe. It's bright, sort of. That's a piece of the wreckage from the plane. Oh, 
oil. Hanan talk of their guardian spirit, or perhaps the word is goddess, a woman, in, uh, a woman all in gray, who haunts the desert and protects their people against the specter of death. They call her Tihanu and leave her gifts of desert flowers. What is there left? I guess see if we can use the elevator now that we have the winch. Let me get these things out of the way. Oh, hey, did you see some matches? Yeah. Dr. Anton Metzier. Papers, Swiss, will need a visa. Travel from Basel. Sterling Sr. insisted we have a doctor on the expedition because his people don't trust the locals. Told him this was a week at K's, not three months in the jungle, but he wouldn't hear it. So they sent us this guy. Don't know much about him, but they must be paying him a lot to leave a practice in Switzerland. Guess he's competent. Whether he can cope with Africa... We'll see. Oh, the doc? Yeah, he seems okay. Between you and me, I think he's a drinker. Maybe they sent him out here to dry out. This is the only part of it we can stand on. Can we reach it from here? We can't. We need to fix the bottom. Or something. Do we have something? Um, what is this key? Arsenal. That's what we found in the tank. Can I make this work? I don't think so. Hmm. 
No, I really can't make that work. Is there something I could drag in there? I, I probably just need actual parts. Like actual boards and nails and stuff. Oh, what was that? Ah, that, what? <laughs> like, can I throw just a bunch of stuff on here? You know? I don't think it's that sort of a puzzle. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think I need to leave. I don't think I can complete this building yet. I don't think there's anywhere else for me to go in here right now. God, I hate that some of them, some of the light sources blow out or burn out or something when you leave them for a while. I think they're blowing out. Let's get the hell out of here. Hmm? Eh. How do I get through? so comforting to be outside in the light, even if it is the twilight. Is this twilight? Is twilight when the sun is going down and almost down, but not quite? Or is it when the sun is just coming up? I don't remember. Or maybe it's both. So that's one of the soldiers, not one of our people. Over here! I think this is a water pump. Sounded painful. Are you okay? I'll get through this. Oh, can I drink this? I, I'm just not thirsty. I should be, I know, but I don't think I can stomach it. We said the same thing about the food. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hey, buddy. Let's take a look in that building on the left there. Valley, you and me up front? Wait, this light? Out here's working. Right, there must be electricity. The lights, or most of the lights inside aren't on, but this one is and the radio is on, of course. That takes electricity. So some sort of power is working. This is the latrine, isn't it? That sure is. No entry without the authority of Captain Lefevre. I'm totally mispronouncing that. Quartermaster only. Off limits, Delacroix. Delacroix, that was the one that went, uh, at, died and also went AWOL or something? Arsenal key, though. Not where it gets used? Apparently not. It's coming! It's coming! Through the gate! Come on! Move it! set one of these on fire so bad but I can't as far as I can figure out I can't Ooh, we're maxed out on matches
is that? I don't know. Not sure what any of that means. Malik Tambora, guide and first gun. Papers, Sudanese, no visa needed. Travel from, he's in Algiers already. Not much to say here. Malik's handling a forward prep as usual, buying in supply lists and such. Remind Rachel to wire any extra needs to him in Algiers. Make sure to introduce him to Rachel early on. He can be good ba backup, uh, stop her doing something stupid. Same as he's done for me a million times. Also, talk through the Tossie situation with him. He'll do anything for her, even if she doesn't know it. Do you remember Marrakesh, where Malik got into that argument with your dad about the mules? <laughs> he was so furious, but all he did was stand there and say, It's your decision, Mr. Victor. Never even raised his voice. Well, I think he's getting close to that with the freeze. Positively sarcastic. I don't suppose we could load this thing? doesn't go in, does it? Ah. <sighs> Something we could light. Where is the fuse for this sort of thing? Isn't it on top? Probably the armory. Yes. Keep Maka. <laughs> he is. Look. February 10th, 29. It's a shipment. Four coils of Cecil rope. Ten barrels of red wine. Some medicine. I'm not sure if any of this particularly matters. Horse flesh? Dried horse flesh? Ugh. There's different sizes of lamp oil. This is a medium one. Fills it up with three each time instead of two like the other ones. I wonder if this thing gets brighter when it's filled up a lot. Um, I think so. Still not as bright as matches, although it throws its light further, I think. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's a big one. What is the sulfur, saltpeter, charcoal? Oh, this feels this feels so amnesia, the dark descent. Or just I mean, I guess really it's kind of just like all of frictional games games, except maybe Soma didn't really have this. But yeah, from the Penumbra series and in, in the the Dark Descent, I remember making so many recipes to make explosives and things. Sulfur, milled charcoal, and saltpeter. If low on sulfur stock, check medicine supply for ointment of sulfur. Boil to extract. Not ideal. Makes powder mix unpredictable, but better than nothing. Ask Corporal Kadir if in doubt. Hmm. So we saw medicine supply in that supply list. It says boil. I could maybe boil it at the the kitchen in the other building. And then we'll be able to blow that door open. Once we fill this shell. I'll go into the tank, I think. Okay, well this is like a whole new area and we've just gotten here, so I think this is a good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to try to make a explosive round for the tank. <laughs>